So you might be trying to figure out how to go ahead and use GitHub, and you might be brand new to this whole entire platform. So I'll give you a quick breakdown on how to use the online version, the just the UI version of GitHub. We're not going to be using the command line or anything like that. This is just going to be straight up the GitHub website. Now, keep in mind, you can access the GitHub website by just going to github.com and then making an account. So you can sign in with your Microsoft account if you have one. If not, you can just go through and just make an account this way by going to this website. When you first come onto it, you have to really understand even what GitHub is. GitHub is basically a platform that allows you to go ahead and build and ship software inside of a single repository. So it's a developer platform and it allows you to store your code inside of some sort of online repository that other people can go through and you know get access to and things like that. You can make it private or public. The reason why you wanna use GitHub is to basically store your code, store your project documents. And when other people need to go ahead and update, like if you're working on a team, it's nice to just have your code all in one platform. Now looking at the platform itself, this is a brand new account. In the top left, I have these three lines right here. I click on it, it'll take me to my home, issues, pull requests, projects, discussions, code spaces, and copilot. All these things are just different tabs. You will get used to going through them when you kind of create your first project, but that's kind of that on the top left, nothing else crazy. On the left panel, you have this create your first project. We're going to get into that in a second. The middle portion is basically just kind of updates within some projects that you're looking at, if you want to have Microsoft Copilot, if you want to ask Microsoft Copilot a question, you can go and do that here. And it just has different things about different projects that you might be associated with, that you might be interested in. And it'll tell you at the bottom if you want to download Visual Studio or if you want to download GitHub. In the top right, these are going to be quick buttons that you can have. Now, this search button will basically allow you to search, you know, basically within your project or repo or different syntax if you want to, you can search a project right here. This little button right here is Copilot. So this button will allow you to go through and basically create a project within Copilot. So you can you know, basically use it for assistive or spaces. It's something that's really cool. If you wanna create a new project or repository, basically a place to store your code, you can click on this plus button or you can click on this drop down, and it will allow you to create a new repository import a repository, create a new code space, a new gist, a uh, new organization, or a new project. You also have this button right here, which shows your issues within a project, your pull requests, times you've wanted to pull updates for, you know, pull into new code, and then you have your messages panel here. In the top right, you'll also have this little profile icon, which if you click on it, will show you your profile. It'll show you, again, your profile, your organizations, GitHub website, all these other things, and a little sign up button at the bottom. Now, if you're brand new to GitHub, and let's say you have some code projects you wanna go ahead and import into GitHub, well, luckily for us, we can go ahead and click on this create first project button in the top left corner right here, and click on create repository. If you're importing a repository, importing code, you can click on import here. But in this case, we will click create repository. When we do that, it's going to tell us right here kind of what we want our repository to be called and what we want our repository in in general. So we can go and name our project whatever we want to, right? We can name it literally whatever you want to. And you can leave a quick description of this project so you remember it later. So we can call this description, you know, this is just sample code. You can name it whatever you want to. You can set the repository as public or private. If you're making a project just for yourself, it really doesn't matter because nobody's really going to care. If you're making a secret project with personal information and anything like that, click it and make it private. There's pros and cons to both, but if you're going to do private, you know, it probably makes more sense to do it here, especially if there's passwords or API keys or anything like that, you probably want to keep it private. You can also add a readme file, which is just right here, our long description for your project. You can go and make a readme file here. You can add dot, dot, uh, get, get ignore, which choose which files not to track from a list of templates. And you can choose a license if you want the MIT type of license or any type of thing like that. When you're ready, you can click on the create repository button in the bottom right here. So let's click on create repository. And then 
we have just pretty much created our code, our project. So right here, you have a couple of things. One, you can access your project. Literally, if you want to just go inside of your project, you can just copy this link right here and go right inside of your project. Um, if you want to, you can also go ahead and access it via the command line. And these are the instructions you would go ahead and do that. Now, you don't have to do it. This is just if you are a little bit more of, if you have more Git experience, you can use your Git experience here by opening up your terminal and going into Git. But you don't necessarily have to do that here. You can just go through and just go into this website and you can just go do it that way. So what you can do is you can just go through, copy it, or I think you can click on setup and desktop. Now you can also click here, I believe, get started by creating a new file. And you can click here, let's see what happens. So it brings us right into our project. So if you click on there, it'll take us into our GitHub project. And you can even click on your project name right there. And it'll take you back into here because it is basically just a sample project. It's just an empty project here. So when you're here, you can go ahead and start creating a new file and you can just create some code or you can upload an existing file. So if you have some code that you already want to import, you can click on upload existing file and drag and drop a file here if you want to. Now I'll go and go back and I'll click on this create a new file. So I'll click on creating a new file right here and I'll just make some random file up. So I'll just like leave a Python comment and I'll just say comment, right? So just say something really random. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and basically click on preview. I want to see it. And if it's good, I should be able to commit changes. Now, I don't know why it's grayed out right now, but essentially I can go through, create this type of project. And that's basically an example of what you can kind of do. So again, this is just an example. You can also upload your existing files as well, but that's kind of one way to do it. Now, on top of that, you can also go through and you can, like I said, upload an existing file. So if I have some sample code that I have in my other file, let me see if I can go and find something. So here's some random file that I have. I'll just go and drag and drop it. And from here, I can go and drag and drop this random Python file in here. I can click on commit changes and it's going to process the code. It's going to take a little bit of time. And now look, we now have this project right here that is basically an actual project. Now, again, this file is not even a Python file. I don't even know what's inside of it. It's just like some random stuff in here. So it's not anything crazy. I think it's just like some web scraper I was making. So it's a pretty basic type of code. Now, what you can do within this code is you have the capability of going through and going into your main branch. If you want to go through and find, you know, different types of branches, if there's a developer branch, you'll be, you'll be able to find that here. If you want to, you can also click on add file and you can quickly add and create new files. So you don't have to know Git to do this. You can just upload and you know delete files here. You can also click on the code drop down here if you want to download this code. So if you have this code or somebody else has a code and you go to their developer branch or their, their repo, you can click on download zip and be able to download this zip file right inside of your computer. Same thing with open with GitHub. You can click on here and it will also download the code that way too. And then you can go through and read an add me file if they have it, or you can just go through and you know, make your own if it's your own project. And that's kind of that. Again, when you go through your projects, it's going to be more or less kind of the same type of experience. There's going to be a lot of things you'll be able to see that you can kind of you know learn as you kind of go. But GitHub is really cool. All your code is now stored online. And if you want to update your code, again, you can go right in here and update it, or you can you know replace your files once you get in. And you can do it that way as well. So those are just a couple of different ways of going about using GitHub. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.